What's up guys? This episode we're talking about advanced caching with user accounts. Now, you might think that caching is really simple when you take a look at some of these examples, but what you're gonna find out really, really fast is that it's not simple at all. And the reason for that is because you have users and users, based on what they've done in your app, end up getting a different UI. So it's little things, but it's very important things. So for example, if you have roles and your users are allowed to do different things, that affects the way the page looks and that complexifies your, um, your caching significantly. So there's multiple strategies of how to handle this, but um, we're gonna take a look at the problem. We're gonna take a look at one solution and we're gonna take a look at a better solution um, in general. So there's a lot of different things that come into play when you're caching. And so for example, right here, um, I took the episode that we did last week and I added user accounts. I just installed devised, add a role um, attribute to the users and basically set the role to either admin or user. Simple as that. Um, and I've logged in as this user as the admin and then this other user in incognito mode is a regular user. And the difference here you're gonna see is that the incognito user doesn't get the edit links because they're not an admin. So we're only, the way that I've set up this application is just to show you that um, admins are the only people who are able to edit these lists. Now, uh, this is with caching off and everything works fine. You can refresh the page um, and it actually edits this code or runs this code and properly caches. So I just have simple um, thing here. We make sure a user signed in and if their role is admin, we display that edit link. Now this is great until you enable caching. So let's go ahead and enable caching. And we'll wait for the Rails server to restart. And let's take a look at the problems that arise as soon as you turn on caching. So um, this happens from either direction. Um, whoever hits this page first is going to cache that globally. So this view will be cached whichever user comes to it first. And then the next user is gonna get that previous user's view and therein lies the rub. So let's view this page as a regular user. We'll refresh it. Now you can see it's using the memory store. So caching is enabled. <coughs> And we don't get the links and that's good. However, if we go over to the admins view and we refresh the page, the admin no longer gets those edit links either. And that's where the problem lies. Because what's happened is we've taken and cached that view and when the admin goes to see it, well, they know that in the cache there's already a copy of this. So we don't need to rerun that code even though it, the HTML that would have been outputted had we reran that code would be different. So that is a problem and there's a solution to this.